Good morning to you. As you can see, I'm sitting at home this morning. Couldn't really get out because um, we've got the boiler man coming. Unexpectedly, our boiler broke down. Uh, actually, we've had the same fault now several times and the boiler really needs to be replaced. And of course, things happen on most inopportune moments. Uh, it's my wife's birthday this morning, today. And um, of course, we had plans. We certainly, one of the plans wasn't that we would see the boiler man. So we're praying that he's going to come pretty quickly before we need to do what we want to do and have a celebratory day. And uh, this morning I, I thought about um, love, the basis of all life. And um, I came across this verse and it just came into my mind um, earlier on today. So I thought I'd just share a short exhortation with you. Song of Solomon. And it's chapter 8 and it's verse 4. And it's this, it says, I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up, nor awake my love until he please. Don't stir up love until he please. And I thought about God's timing and how important it is that we, we be patient for God's timing. And then... Coupled with that, I was thinking about what we're expecting to happen in the world and um, all the nasties that are going to come upon us. And I thought of Matthew 24, where um, the disciples were asking Jesus, of course, what will it be? When will the end of the age be? And all the rest of it. And I suppose they were impatient too, a little bit in their humanity for seeing Jesus coming in his kingdom and glory and uh, all the wonderful things, because he probably taught them much over the three years that he was with them. And of course, Jesus spoke a lot about the calamities that would take place before his kingdom would come in and before he would return. And uh, Jesus is coming for a reason. And I thought about this in coupled with Matthew 24, and uh, he's coming for love. And he's coming for the love of his people the love of his church, the love of his bride, the true body of Christ. But uh, being human as we are, we want to awaken that love, don't we? We want him to come as quickly as possible, as the scripture says, come quickly. But um, we have to also know that he will come in his time. He has his purpose and he has all the things that he wants to outwork in our lives. And um, sometimes... There are things he wants to do in us that we're just not ready for. And God wants us to be ready. He wants us to be in that perfect state. And it's a bit like the scripture. Um, the bridegroom comes when the bridegroom is ready. And the bridegroom comes when the bride is ready. So being impatient can bring all kinds of things upon our lives. And... Uh, the importance of, of knowing God's timing and expecting him to come at the exact right moment. And we quibble over things, don't we? We you know the, the, the age old um, argument about the rapture and all the rest of it. But he has his timing and it's purposeful. And it will bring about what he intends. In verse 7 is a lovely exhortation. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would be utterly contemned. Love is the ultimate. Nothing can stop it happening. And when God's love is about to come upon us, his, of course his love comes with judgment for those that um, turn against him. But for those that would look to him in these days and walk with him, that flood of love that he's going to pour out will be something that we, we cannot measure. And it will be such a blessing upon our lives for eternity. So I just want to leave you with that thought this morning. I know it's a bit short, but um, just let's know that let's not be in a hurry. Let me put it that way. Let's not be in a hurry for the end of all things because we know that with tribulation 
in the end comes joy, but uh, I don't wish tribulation upon myself, and I don't wish it upon others. But at the same time, we know the end of the story, as I've often said, and it's glorious, and it's wonderful, and God's timing is perfect. So as I sit here waiting for the boiler man, I pray that timing will work out for us as we celebrate my wife's birthday. And uh, if you're having a birthday, if you're having a special day today or a special occasion, I pray it's blessed for you. For some people it may be a sad one, and uh, for others it will be a day of joy. Each of us have things to contend with, don't we? But God, of course, is in everything, whether it's good that's happening to us or whether it's difficult or whether it's evil. Let's pray through and let's stand together in Christ and know that in the end, when Jesus comes for his bride, she'll be perfect and spotless and without wrinkle. And he'll look upon her with great love, the way Solomon looked upon uh, his lover and the way she looked upon him. Have a blessed day.